So first you're going to want to braid your hair, um, preferably proper braids because that will get your hair as close to your scalp as you can, meaning your wig will feel a lot better. Um, I'm feeling a bit lazy today so I've just gone for the pigtails and pinned the fringe back a bit to keep it out of the way. Um, the next step would be to get some pins um, and just pin these plaques up. So if I just turn around, make sure you can see. Um, yep, I'll get this plaque here and just pin it in there and then do the same with the other one. Like that. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll put a few more pins in just to secure these loose ends and that down. But this is just for this video, so I'm not going to be too fussed about that. Um, and the next thing is, is what I do is I get myself a wig cap. And they do use some various different colours depending on your skin tone and that. So um, what most people do with these is, let me put this on, if you do it, you hook it onto your eyebrows first and then bring it over the back of your head. Um, like this, this is the um, least flattering part of the video. Um, what you can do if you're going to glue your wig to your head is have your wig cap sort of roughly like that. So it is over the ears, maybe a bit further down to cover my hair. Basically, you're going to be, if you're doing it permanent, not permanently, but like melting the lace in, you're going to be using some um got to be glued hairspray spray it on this to glue this wig cap down onto your skin uh and then put a um band around it to hold it tight then you can cut this off around your hairline like that so your hair is completely contained now i don't do that because i don't wear my wigs like all the time so I, if you just want to wear them like what I do, like every now and then, or you like to change them quite often, then I just sit the um, cap like that. Right, so then next, grab my wig. You might remember this one from a while back. This is one that I did for a promo. Um, have a look at your wig. Give it a, when you first get it out of the packaging, well, if you buy one from us, give it a proper good shake because it's probably going to have been flattened a little bit in um, transit. Another thing, especially if you've got a curly or wavy wig, get a water spray bottle and just give it a quick. Stand up, it's empty. Quick mist over. Make your fingers through it, give it a scrunch, and that should help to act, reactivate the curls and make them look a little bit less squished. Um, obviously, if it's a straight wig, you won't need to do that. With the straight wigs, um, you'll just need to, once you've got them on, straighten them or curl them or whatever it is you need to do to style them to how your preference is. Right, this one actually did come with lace, uh, it was um, sort of that far. But as you can see, I've cut the lace. Um, most people will do that once they've got the wig glued to their head and everything. Um, as you can see in these wigs, they've got little um, combs as well. So if you're not using a wig cap like I am, it'll help grip into your hair underneath. Um, right, so if you need to, there are two adjustment straps here which are pretty much universal on most wigs. So if you're new to wearing wigs, you might need to adjust them a couple of times just to get the tension right, and then you'll know from there on. Um, right, so what I do is you grab the wig from the back, like you're grabbing the nape of the neck of it, upside down like that, and kind of lean your head into it. Don't just put the wig on but kind of lean your head into it and just sort of peel it round and use your forehead as a like I did with the wig cap um, to try and sort of anchor the wig with so 
I'll pop it on now like that all right so as you can see it's not on straight and everything so this is your chance to give it an adjustment and pull it forward bring it back whatever um i think i need to move the wig cap back a little bit because that's showing And that's pretty much it as i say with the lace you can glue the lace using the um i forgot what it's called now the uh the spray it's gone out of my head the yellow one got to be glued that's it um they got to be glued spray um to glue the lace down so as you can see if i get a bit closer you can see where the edges of the lace when that's a bit further down if you spray the spray on there and then put another band over the top to glue it down then you can just cut the lace right at the edge um, and you can get some uh, makeup to just blend the edges in and that so it looks really really natural um, and you can also get some stuff for the scalp as well to make that look a little bit more natural too um so yeah that's how i would put the wig on if i wasn't using the glueless so um yeah any questions give me a shout